Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is a little chilly here, but today we're going to be continuing some progress on the Speed 6. A couple things have changed since you guys last saw it. Got all the coolant hoses uh, pretty much ran where they go. A new oil cooler kit uh, came in because uh, I was telling you guys last time that you do not want to reuse an oil cooler. Uh, after an engine is blown because there's just metal in there that you'll never get out. So uh, worth the 200 bucks to replace it. This is the upgraded uh, 2013 Speed 3 oil cooler that has like the uh, the beefier housing on it and stuff like that because the other ones were known for cracking. So that's all set. And I got Eric's new wire tuck harness in with all the plug and play sexiness on there. All good to go. I got the DI harness already ran underneath here. I just got to hook up uh, this one coolant hose here and then start getting everything wrapped up. Front end will go on, but the crash bar will not stay. Uh, Michael Ray at Ray's Mazda Parts has a super gangster uh, front crash bar for the Mazda Speed 6. I'll pop up a picture on the screen here. And they are at powder coating right now, so they should ship out uh, this week, the week you're seeing this video. So uh, probably by next week, I'll have that. I'll be able to put that on and mount the intercooler uh, a very nice way now instead of all ghetto with the old crash bar. So we're going to focus on this video, getting all the stuff in the front here buttoned up and uh, start putting the front end on and getting the wire tuck harness dropped on. And I got to pull the downpipe because... That needs to get out of the way because we're basically going to start over on the downpipe and once the turbo's here we're going to fabricate you know a new downpipe and probably just cut the section off down there and just reattach it to where it is so lots of work to do but we got to get this thing ready to roll um because we have some we have a big move happening uh here in the next week and I will not I will not be worrying about it being cold outside anymore. I'll just say that. If you guys can't get that hint, then you know, I can't help you out. But you'll just have to wait. So I gotta get uh most of this stuff back on. And really it's it's almost ready to button up the front end. I mean everything up here is mostly done. I don't really have much to do. I wanna run my uh catch can lines out uh while I have the freedom to put those in and run them over. Um and get those situated so i'm gonna button up the rest of this stuff oh oh i have a new i can't put the front end on yet because i have a new uh ac line i was telling you about it in another video uh chad at race Statics makes a new uh ac relocate line and it basically takes this from this fitting this whole line right and relocates it underneath so that it's deleted from up here and gets rid of all this ugliness um, and that will be here uh, at the beginning of this week. It just shipped out. So yeah, I'll have that. I just want to, I really want to just wait to put the front end on uh, until that's in because it has to come uh, through like the frame rail area and then it hooks up uh, right here where this tape is. So um, yeah, I think I'll probably wait putting the front end on until that's here but i can get the rest of the wiring on the car done i need to get uh you know this harness laid over the whole engine and plugged in and get all that stuff hooked up and then we'll worry about it so i'm gonna stop rambling we're gonna get to work let's go guys and i know it looks like a mess but i found the sickest spot to mount the split second controller i had a stud a pre-made stud over here that i put like a little self tapper in here this thing ain't going nowhere still easy to access i can still plug in and have it tunable and then i'm just gonna run my new injector harness up to my pi and tuck it all nice I'm trying to get all everything tucked as close to the block as i can and underneath so that everything is out of the way over here and it's as clean as possible i seriously can't wait to see the end product when all of it's uh hooked up so got some wiring routing to do this is all like the meticulous stuff that takes forever so it doesn't look like a lot of progress is being made but yeah, I really like that. I'm going to feed the wires uh, behind here and down, around, and then up through underneath here. And then uh, up through the runners of the intake manifold. Uh, this is like other plugs. I got Wapox, PI harness. And then I got all my other stuff plugged in down here. Um, but like I said, I'm going to push all this over and tuck that over here. So it'll be all nice and neat. But yeah, it's coming along. Pretty excited. 
Woo! It's been a couple days since I've been out here and uh, yeah, just got back to work on it and it's looking a lot cleaner as you can see. All the wiring is pretty much hooked up. I just got the stuff I got to hook up in the front here. Um, but here's the thing. I have the aftermarket AC line like I was telling you about coming. I have to wait and put the front end on until I have that. It's just way easier. And plus, um, still, I'm still, I'm just waiting on Michael Ray to ship the new crash bar and then I'll get everything mounted up to go but everything up here is good i just actually put on my cork sport uh sandwich plate and ran my uh oil pressure gauge sensor up and through and i'll be tying this up there but split second controller looks sick there i just got the excess wiring back here that i need to tie up um real quick and then this is super gangster that i didn't even know was part of the wire tuck but it is so on your split second controller, you gotta tap for a five volt source. Usually you tap a wire into the MAF sensor plug, but he makes an actual plug and play dongle. You just plug this into the factory harness. This plugs into your intake on your MAF sensor. And then this right here is your five volt reference, which plugs up into that. So it's completely plug and play, super sick. So honestly, up here is pretty much wrapped up. Uh, minus putting the front end on. I do have to fill everything with fluids. I need power steering fluid. I need uh, brake in oil. I need trans fluid. I need brake fluid. Um, all that kind of stuff. But right now, um, the engine bay is going to sit like this for the next few days um, until I get the stuff I need. So right now, I need to get the brakes off um, and, and move everything around so I can get the axles into the transmission uh, on both sides transfer case stuff like that and then I need to go into the car and drop the Downpipe out because it is not gonna work for this top mount setup. So what I'll end up doing is once I get the turbo Mounted on the manifold then I'll start building a downpipe off of that since I'll have the AC line relocated um, It'll give me plenty of room to come out and down um, I have some pie cuts and stuff already. I'll probably just get like a new precision flange ordered up and then start a fresh downpipe and then maybe reuse this one uh, once it gets under the under the car so lots to do still but we need to get this thing ready to go because it's leaving the garage after this weekend so uh you'll know why in the next video immediately following this one um we got some another big move happening so now remember we are a parts dealer now and we can get you anything that you need for your build uh make sure to hit us up uh, in our email, I'll post it here on the screen and it's always down below in the comments. The website is almost done and you guys will then be able to go on our website and actually search for parts, click on stuff, check out, and uh, we'll get through the stuff on the way. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm pretty stoked with how everything's going. I've had multiple people message me already and order parts, so it's definitely going well. But the next big thing that we're doing uh, this coming week is epic and we're super pumped. So we just gotta get this thing ready to roll we'll be good to go. So I'm going to jump to doing the axles, getting that stuff in and that should, uh, that'll get us on the ground. And then I want to get, before I get the car out of here, I want to get my new Walboro fuel pump in the, uh, stock tank. I want to get that in and swapped out that way that's all taken care of. And then we just have the PI system to do, but we are like actually in all reality, pretty close. Just a lot of minor things to do guys. I just got my new race statics ac line tuck kit the dog over there is going nuts uh ac line relocate kit that i was telling you about super nice it comes with all the fittings all the little uh, worm clamps here to hold the line in place along the frame rail i believe uh it comes with a nice sticker nice letter and uh yeah super high quality stuff so this will be going in uh but <sighs> What I did do is these control arms. This this really this really aggravated me. So this control arm, upper control arm, is brand new. Um, I used it. I mounted it in there. I never even drove on it yet. Um, minus this part that is it swaps back and forth between you know the control arms when you swap them out. Um, but this is a Duralast piece from AutoZone. Um, I lost my receipt. They never logged it in the computer. So this is a paperweight because I foobarred the threads. Well, I didn't really do it on, it wasn't anything that I did on, you know, purpose, but it was, I just undid it and it ate the threads up. So I wanted to go return it 
and they wouldn't even give me credit for it. So I ended up having to buy two new ones because I'm going to replace the one on this side as well. Uh, just so that they're all fresh new and the bushings and stuff like that are good to go. So uh, I'm going to pop these in to get the suspension. I got this axle in already over here. So this side's good to go. I'm going to do something with the brakes soon. I just need to get it on the ground and ready to go now. I think I'm going to be upgrading to the Brembo Evo 8 brakes. Uh, just because they are nicer and they work better. So I'm going to get these control arms on and get ready to get this thing back on the ground before i put it on the ground though i want to take the downpipe off and get that out so that uh, i have room to kind of figure some stuff out and get this ac line removed and all that stuff so let's get to work oh yeah the crusty brakes that's just surface from sitting but uh new control arms are in all the suspensions in axles are in i just gotta put the wheels on but this side's done as well up top all good and then uh yeah so get this thing about to put the wheels on that tire is like completely flat i'm actually probably gonna take that to my work and use the air compressor and fill that up uh these tires are going anyway we're just gonna put them on there so we can roll them but yeah wheels are ready to go back on and we can get this thing well first before we get on the ground i gotta get the downpipe out and then we'll be ready okay wheels are on all the suspension's hooked up I actually took the downpipe out because, like I said, that's not going to work. So we got to modify that. Manifold is tightened back up. Drive shaft is on and working, spinning. Turned it by hand. Um, I just want to get this harness dropped down real quick. And I'm actually about to lower the car down onto the ground. <sighs> For the first time with an engine in it, this tire is really flat. So I'm going to have to get a compressor over here. But she is going down. Dang. It's so low. It's crazy how low it is. When everything is... Oh my gosh, I can like... Get all up in here. Yeah, buddy. On the ground. Tires flat. All day. No air. I gotta, these tires are gonna go, like I said, but I gotta fill that up with air because that ain't gonna roll. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, get this harness finished up being plugged in and then uh, we got some stuff to clean up because we're taking this car out of the garage and it's going somewhere, but you guys are gonna have to wait until next episode to find out because uh, we are no longer gonna be working in here uh, for the most part. It's gonna be in a much more glorious place and I can't wait to get bring you guys along and show you what is happening. But we needed to get it to this point in order to do that. So that's going to finish up this episode. We got a lot of progress done and a lot of things hooked up. Uh, we are not terribly far from being able to actually start the car. Um, just like I said, just waiting on a couple things. Uh, it's going to be sweet. That AC line is out of there. Took that out. And uh, the new one is just going to go from here and down and follow the frame rail up to the front so you won't even see an ac line back there but man there's so much room back here for activities i really need to get a downpipe fabbed up a freaking hood exit man it just sounds so good they sound so good but i know you guys don't want me to do that to this to this car we'll see but i think that's where we're gonna end it off i'm pretty stoked with the progress and we're like almost there i'm pretty stoked a lot of things that are going to be different about this than the last one. And I just can't wait to get it fired up. So until next time, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.